Good morning. Glad you could join me today for morning prayer. The book of Ephesians speaks over and over about heavenly places. Ephesians 1, 3, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. Ephesians 1, 20, which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places. Ephesians 2, 6 says that God has raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Ephesians 3, 9, 10, to make all see what is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the ages has been hidden in God who created all things through Jesus Christ to the intent that now the manifold wisdom of God might be known by the church to the principalities and powers in heavenly places. Ephesians 6.12 For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places places. Jesus Christ, his church, and spiritual hosts of wickedness all converge in these heavenly places. There is a battle raging over our nation in heavenly places. We see some of the results uh, of that battle in the natural, in the media, in the headlines, and even on social media. And because of the effects of the ongoing spiritual battle in the heavenly places, our nation is in a season of fear and division and frustration and, and anger and unrest. And in the midst of the chaos around us, Jesus is calling his ecclesia, his church, to press in closer to him to pray so he can show us what's going on, what's coming, what to pray what to do, and what to say to those seeking answers to the unrest and the chaos dominating our nation and many of our lives right now. We can't be driven by reacting to the devil's agenda. We have to stay focused on Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, so he can lead us and guide us and direct us and show us. Community Haven, we are in a season of Jesus calling us to be a strategic ecclesia, a place of prayer. And as we pray, the Holy Spirit will give us strategic prayers followed by strategic action, the moving of the Holy Spirit. Romans 8, 26, 27. For the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. And he who searches the hearts knows what is the mind of the Spirit because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. Let's pray. Father, keep us from being tossed to and fro by the things going on around us. Jesus, keep your church from being caught up in all the craziness that's out there in the media. Keep our minds on whatever is true and whatever is trustworthy. We need your perspective. Thank you for clearing my mind, my heart. Draw me ever closer to you, Lord. Help me stay on course and help me see things your way through your word. Give me the words to pray and declare from the place of rest in you. Father God, maker of heaven and earth, you are the one who rules from the heavenly places. I love you. And you have given me all that I need through Jesus Christ. I pray daily from the vantage point of being seated with Christ in the heavenly realm. Don't let me forget that place. Keep teaching your ecclesia, your church, how to war against our ancient foe from this place in the heavenly places with you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, guide our prayers. Pray the Father's will through us. Direct your prayers in heavenly places as we lift up the name of Jesus. Oh, our eyes are on you, Jesus, as we pray in your powerful and wonderful name. Amen.